Jeremiah Stumbler Airlines and today we're uh, just outside Atlanta, Georgia at the Pecan Patch Airstrip for the third annual FPV fly-in. Let's go take a look. We've got some cool stuff to see today. Hey, welcome to Georgia. We're headed to the pecan patch, but first we're gonna get this cat out that's in the dash. He's in the other side on the bottom of the thing. Is there really a cat in there? Yes. Oh my god. I can hear the cat, but is he in the dash? Yes. I need my cell phone. I'm gonna turn the camera around and look inside so I can use it to see. We were trying to do something nice and you want to get stuck in your dance. I think I'm about to take this whole bottle off. Oh. <laughs> get it climbed up inside the dash. I start thinking I'm trying to take off this dash. I think I'm never going to get him. Does anybody got a... Not me in this car. I'm kidding. 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 i am Okay. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. <laughs> started. <laughs> yeah, we jumped. Are y'all in a hurry? I hope not. What are y'all trying to get? We're, we're going to fly we're, airplanes. We're going to fly today, airplanes. So we're good. Oh, fun. So you're going to have a day to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. It's only Jumping 9.30. Jumping a battery. <laughs> trying to find a cat. We didn't find it. Well, we know it's in the dash. It's 9.30. And then, uh, yeah. What do you need to talk about? I saw you guys in a cluster. I'm like, I'm sure we the god one of them. <laughs>
I got that one on film. Okay. How about your first FPV flight? Wow. What do you think? This is, it's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Sign me up. Neri, get out my checkbook. You're, you're in trouble, I'm sorry. Experience. That's how addicting this hobby uh, is right here. I drove uh, from Orlando today to try this, and here I am, and this is absolutely awesome. And your name? Unbelievable. Uh, Ross, my, my handle's uh, Nooch10, N-U-C-C-10. Awesome, man. Thanks for and coming out. Incredible time, yeah. Very, very cool. I'd be crazy at the sticks. And I'd be crazy is crazy. Let me tell you right now. Wow. Official juggernaut made it. All right, Aaron, tell us a little about your uh, ground station. It's pretty cool. Yeah, well, I made it out of a Harbor Freight case. Um, it's like 26 bucks from Harbor Freight, all aluminum. And I kept all the foam in the bottom of it, um, but I made a layer, cut out all the things for batteries, for cords, for my diversity system over here, and then for my goggles. But in the top, 
I put birch wood all around the outside, on the inside, and covered it with plexiglass with carbon fiber vinyl over the top of that. Uh, of course, I've got a Philips 9-inch LCD that does not blue screen in there. And all my gauges are from eBay, like five bucks for each of these. And everything's on a switch, so I can see my voltages for each of my goggles and for my... Uh, uh, my TV screen and then I can switch off my monitor so I can save battery if I'm not using it Or I can turn it back on I can have everything's on a switch I have auxiliary, auxiliary power so I can come out with another 12 volts on the out on the side of the case If you look over here, you can see I've got uh, auxiliary power here and I've got all my inputs here for diversity uh, One input there and one input there. How long did it take you to uh to build it? Uh, maybe a week. I mean, you know, a little bit in the garage here and there. You know, that's where everything is. You, you find time when you can find time. But, right. Uh, it wasn't really that bad. It was actually a pretty simple little put together. So, um, the only problem I'd say is that it's very top heavy. So, you have to bungee it down. If you notice here, I have it bungee to the table on the front. Because if a wind comes oh, by, right. and it's so top heavy that it'll actually fall over. Yeah, I can see So, uh, you have to be real careful with that. I, I built it really heavy on the top. Um, if I was to do it again, I'd probably try to slim it down a bit, but um, it is what it is, or maybe put more weight in the bottom somehow. And what do you what do you fly? An eight, a 1280, um, kind of a, a discovery copy, quad. Um, I got it off eBay. It's called an Alien Quad. Eighteen dollars for the frame. You can't beat that. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and uh, and then I fly a Striker, which just crashed, as you can see, and uh, a Pop Wing. And uh, that's oh, and then my. Um, I got a new so Skyhunter. It's the uh, oh yeah, it's the V tail or whatever you call it. That. That's a beast right there. That's a lot of battery space. Yeah, you can fit a boot inside. You can fit a whole boot inside of here. <laughs> Long range. Yeah, my maiden flight yesterday. I ran out of battery and landed it in a tree. So it's not as pretty as it was. Thanks, man, for showing off some of your stuff. Um, no people can find you on YouTube. It's Turbo Driven is one word, and then the, the number one at the end. So Turbo Driven one. Guys, check him out. See what he's flying. Thanks for showing off the gear. No problem.
kind of sticky out here.
at the pecan patch this year uh, hope you enjoyed the video we had some fun hit some clouds we hit each other uh, flew with a lot of cool guys and uh, hopefully we'll be back next year we'll see you next time thanks for watching